Craig Cock here, Wildwood Guitars, playing a little Albert Kingish stuff. We were just kind of talking off camera about some fun stories, and Stephen Mesplay asked me if I'd ever met Albert King, and indeed, uh, I was very much into Albert as a youngster. That's why when I first heard Stevie Ray Vaughan, I thought to myself, who is this youngster playing those Albert King licks with such aplomb and vehemence? And I immediately wanted to seek him out and kick him right in the shin and say, no, don't do it. But he is, uh, of course, the one that took the Albert King into the mainstream of American and international consciousness with the savagery. See, brave on that is. Uh, but I met Albert King. I was actually playing with a friend of mine at uh, Milwaukee's Summerfest, a glorious event on the lakefront with pungent, acrid scents of the lakefront of dead fish and various septic systems are breathing into the Wisconsin morn and night. And uh, we were playing, uh, it was a band called Big Bob and the Ballroom, Bl no, actually it was the Blue Torpedoes featuring Big Bob, or as I like to call him, Lage Robert. And uh, with my friend Al Eck was playing guitar and harp as well. And we were doing some blues, it was basically just an excuse to jam, if you know what I'm saying. So I get done doing the solo and I got my eyes closed and I'm going, shwiddle it, shwiddle, 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 shwiddle. And I knew Albert King was playing at the tent next door in the evening, but this is, you know, I don't know, four o'clock in the afternoon or something. So I get done doing the solo, my eyes are closed, and I open up my eyes, and there's the, the crowd is clapping. <laughs> Fooled him again, says I. And so I turn to my left, and there's Albert King hanging on this fence watching me like this, and he goes, gives me the thumbs up. And I was like, oh, my God. Because Albert, I don't know if you're aware of this, had kind of a reputation for being a little salty, a little, um, shall we say, cantankerous. And uh, so much so that when we got done, I didn't want to meet him because I didn't want him to ruin my whole thing. I did see him. I just, I just want to shake hands. He's like, all right. And he shakes my hand. But the other two guys went on to his bus and tried to get him to sit in with us. And he, they, he, he told them some things that are not camera friendly, ladies and gentlemen. It involved permutations on the Reproductive Act. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. But anyways, Albert King, if you're not familiar with the ways of Albert King, I suggest you go on uh, the... Uh, international super highway called the internet and uh, explore some Albert King renderings and you will feel the power of the glorious <laughs>